day everyone welcome back to the channel welcome to a new day it is Sunday afternoon early afternoon cloudy little windy little cool so yeah I just uh, put out some bird food and camera and just did a vlog for the birding channel so uh, I vlogged about the bird food I use and um, I'll be talking about the gear I use and everything so if you want to check that out head over to my Wisconsin backyard birding channel for some birds so so yeah I just it's been a few weeks since I just sat outside here and vlogged with you guys talked with you guys um, so yeah I just wanted to uh, go over more about the health care uh, the VA health care so I went online and oh I created an account basically they have you create an account put all your personal information in there so they can verify that you are who you are you say you are um, oh cutie li little red squirrel going by they're so cute so anyway I did all that they sent me uh, I put my phone number in they sent me codes to access another page and I set all that up and I was almost to the step to where I actually apply but they wanted to send me a one-time code for a pa another page. <laughs> this is not an easy process, but it is what it is. I can't change it, so I'm just going with it. But they wanted to send me a one-time code. I put my phone number in, which they just used to send me other codes, and they said it, they can't find it in the system. <laughs> so you only have a certain amount of tries before you get locked out of your account. So I had to choose another option, which was mail me the code. So now I have to wait for the mail, their mail to come, and they uh, they're gonna send me a code to get into the web page to apply for the health insurance. So that's my next step, and that's where I'm on hold right now. So um, I am going to be looking into other uh, healthcare as well. So more to come on that. I'll let you know when I finally do get into uh, the VA healthcare page and set up my apply for my VA insurance so yeah um, other than that it's been okay uh, we're coming along um, closer to spring I guess so um, I know I've missed a couple questions and I apologize for that uh, there have been questions like um, do we have family that can help us um, some of you that have been with me for a while remember I think going back to last winter uh, where Glenn and his sister are the only siblings remaining of his family and they were not talking and then last winter we reached out they made up and we were talking well <laughs> this past uh, late summer early fall when we were planning like Christmas gathering for la last year, 2022, they had another falling out and her true colors really came out in this one. Um, the way the rest of her family, like she has kids and they have kids. And so I'm sorry for the wind noise if you're hearing it. But her true colors came out, the family's true colors came out, and she really let it be known how they really felt about Glenn. So they didn't, basically, they didn't want him at the uh, Christmas gathering. So they were holding on to the past as to what happened in the past, and they're just going to hold on to that, and they didn't want him there. So we said, F it, screw it we're done um, another part of her true colors that came out was um, her being prejudiced uh, against Native Americans so um, and I'm Native American I'm Mexican but I'm also Native American and yeah her true true colors came out with that so we said to ourselves no more so they're not talking we're not talking no more we won't even attempt to make up anymore we decided even though you have blood family sometimes it's best not to be a part of each other's lives 
because it's just so much negativity and we don't have the energy or the time for negativity. Life is too short. So it's best for us to just cut all ties with his side of the family. So that's what we've done. So all my family's in California. So no, we don't have any family help here. Um, it's just us on our own and that's fine. We're fine with that. Um, so, so that's that. I'm just moving the, <laughs> I'm holding this on a, a tripod or a, yeah, a phone holder. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's, that's that. And then, uh, it was out, also asked, speaking of me being Native American, can I get help? Um, I don't have a line of history. All I know is I'm Apache. I didn't grow up knowing I was Native American until my adulthood. Um, there's no bloodline how much we are. There's no paperwork saying we are. Um, so, so yeah, that there wouldn't be any way to prove except like, I guess, DNA results, but it's no big deal, really. I didn't grow up knowing I was Native American until I started traveling the country a little bit and running into other Native Americans and they're asking me what tribe I was from and I would say I'm Mexican and they would say, no, you're not. And, but I am part Mexican. Um, so I don't know how much of what I am I just know I grew up in a Mexican household. Uh, my mom and dad spoke Spanish. They spoke English too, but they spoke Spanish. So I don't know the bloodlines or the blood ties um, to my Native American part. So, so yeah, when I was asked as I was an adult, and then I went to my dad and said, something you want to tell us? <laughs> um, something we're missing here, but but no blame, you know, I don't, I don't blame my dad, I love my dad, I miss my dad, um, but yeah, my dad's uh, mom was Apache, and uh, yeah, <laughs> she was pretty cool, but yeah, uh, but yeah, so that's, that's answers to those questions, another question was, uh, not, has nothing to do with health insurance or help or anything like that, and I, I, if you're watching, I don't. I apologize. I don't want you to think I forgot. But somebody asked what our favorite brand of chorizo to use. I'll put a picture up because I don't remember the name, but I know the design of the package. This is the kind we grew up eating, and it comes in beef and pork, and it comes in mild and picante. So we always used to get the picante type. I don't always see it here in Wisconsin, um, so but that is the type uh, that my dad grew up making for us, and I've even used it here in Wisconsin, but I, it's not always available. So, so yeah, I just thought I'd put that out there. Um, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to talk about those few things. Um, what I also want to talk about is when we went from high income to low income in a heartbeat. How did we how did we handle that as far as what we cut out for you know money going out uh, how did we manage and things like that so um, so things that we did is we took whatever was no longer it wasn't a necessity and we cut it out like cable uh, we even switched up our home internet and I'll, I'll tell you about that and uh, I've gone over this before, but a lot, like I said, a lot of folks are new, uh, new subscribers, new watchers. But yeah, we cut out cable, so we only stream. And I'll show you what I do or we, what we do for like movies. And a lot of you know Roku. And but you don't necessarily need a Roku if you have a laptop, a full-size laptop, or even a mini laptop, because we have a Roku, but I don't use it much and we i still watch plenty of movies so on the big tv so i'll show you that um yeah so we just took whatever we didn't deem a necessity and we cut it out right away like asap we weren't paying into it anymore um so i'll go over a lot of that and even like light and heat so 
our county has a heat, is, heat assistance program and every winter we get heat assistance where they, they allot so much for the winter for your heat bills and your light bills. So it doesn't take care of the whole winter, um, but I, I want to talk about the heat bill, which has been such a blessing. Not the, not the heat bill itself, but the way it's paid. But yeah, so heat and light, it's a necessity, but we, all, we get assistance paying that. Um, on our light bill, electric bill, so I also even... I even go on the electric website. We have Alliant Energy. That's who we go through. And I actually go on the website under our account and I monitor. I actually do. I don't even think I ever told Glenn I do this. I monitor how much power we're using, how much electricity we're using. I, I keep an eye on like the kilowatts and stuff. I compare them to a year before, a month before. Um, what our highest bill was in the past six months and how we're doing compared to those kilowatts and you can change them over to money wise like dollar signs but I, I go in there and I look at that stuff so and besides that you know I try to keep all the lights off if I'm not using them um, we use all LED lights so it, it's not taking up as much energy but our kitchen light on the ceiling is not LED and it's not changeable. It's a spiral light and it I'm guessing it takes up a lot of power so I don't use I don't try to I try not to leave it on all day. I use it when I'm cooking or making a video cuz I need the lighting, but as soon as I'm done, I take I turn it off and just turn on a little light, a USB light. So you know, we used to, when we used to make uh, more money when I was working and he was getting Social Security, um, we didn't have a care in the world about how much of the lights we turned on or, you know, like Glenn always said, I'm not going to live in a dark home. But now it's like, um, we're not living in a dark home. We just turned over to all LED and they take up a lot less power. Right now, our average monthly uh, electric bill ranges from 70 to about $95. Um, and that's since we change over to all LED and I'm careful of how long I leave that kitchen light on. Um, if I'm not in the kitchen, the light gets turned off. So other than that, we don't, uh, we don't have a lot of stuff that is using a lot of power really. So, um, so yeah, um, but yeah, cable definitely got cut out. Uh, inter got, internet got changed, but then we changed back over, and I'll tell you why. Um, we use Spectrum, and when this first happened uh, during COVID and I quit my job, we cut out cable, we looked for a different type of internet, and we cut out Spectrum internet. But then a few years back, I'll, I'll have it all down so I can point it out to you. But a few years ago, not a few years, because we're still on that deal. Uh, and I should go back and see how long we have that deal for. <laughs> but Spectrum had a deal where you can lock in a price for your internet for two years at, what was it? Basically $50. $50 a month for internet for two years, no, no price change. Or you can uh, take a deal on the cable. Well, we didn't care about cable. We cared about the internet. Especially me, with me doing YouTube, I need the internet. And I need good internet. So we locked in that deal on internet. So right now we still are on Spectrum internet, home internet. And I do need to go check in to see how much longer we have that. Now speaking of internet and getting help. Um, this was told to us by a subscriber last winter, and we went, finally went in and got it. It's the, it's government assistance for your cell phone or internet or whatever. Um, it's called the ACP, Affordable Connectivity Program. And I'll put the webpage on the screen, but this is for low-income folks that are giving, getting government assistance. Um, like food share, um, Medicaid, or whatever kind of health assistance from the government, low income. Um, you can go in, apply, 
and get a $30 discount off your internet or cell phone bill or whatever it is, whatever you prefer, which one. So I went in and applied and uh, within seconds we got approved for a $30 discount off our home internet. So now, and then I had to call Spectrum, give them the code, the approval code, and they applied it right away. And now our internet bill is only $25. So, so thankful for all the help and thankful for you guys for letting me know about the stuff that's out there that, you know, I just assume, uh, I'll be honest, I just assumed I'm 57, I'm not disabled. Yeah, I'm not working, but I didn't think there was help out there for us because of that. So, so yeah. Um, so thank you for giving us that information, and now we have it. But I want you guys to know about it too, so I'm going to put that website on there. And all you have to do is fill out a couple of things of information. Um, I think for, because we do get food share, I don't think I've ever let, let, you guys know that but we we do get food share we didn't get it right away because we didn't we just didn't apply for it we just i don't know I, I just didn't think we i don't know maybe i thought we didn't uh uh would get approved for it or whatnot this whole being low income was new to us so we just didn't know the help that was out there so we do get food share and last year the government gave food share or food stamps, wherever, whatever it's called in your area. But last year, the government gave everybody on food share uh, a raise. So we got a raise in our food money. But then the government also gave a raise to Social Security recipients. So as soon as Glenn got that raise, they took the food share raise away. So, so yeah. So, but we're grateful to have the food share money. Even though they took the raise away, we're still grateful to have it because that's money we would not have to come up with to buy food. Um, that's the reason we were able to stock up on the meats that time. And yeah, somebody had made a comment sometime before, but you know, when it comes to comments, I, I just don't want to bring a negative vibe to the channel because it's been so positive. But somebody made a comment that if you're receiving food share you shouldn't be going to the pantries <clears throat> excuse me i don't agree with that because food costs a lot of money and like if we didn't stock up on all that meat and we were just buying from week to week there's no way we would have anything extra if something happened and we couldn't go get food we would be screwed because we wouldn't have been able to stock up if we weren't going to the pantries or getting food share. It, it goes hand in hand. What we don't get in the groceries with our food share, we get from the food pantry. And, you know, so maybe some of you agree with that, some of you don't, but I don't agree with that. It. It's, it's hard out here. And besides, like I've said before, the food pantries, they're just gonna throw that food away. They're gonna throw whatever's left away, so why waste it? Go get it. So that's why I didn't bring it up right away, so I was even unsure whether I should bring it up now, but I just don't want this to fall into a negative conversation or, you know, community, and I know you guys are so positive, but so yeah, uh, if you have more questions on, on food share or anything like that, um, certainly drop it down in the comments. Another thing was, um, going back to the VA, um, some of you may, I may have confused some of you. Glenn is not a veteran, and I don't know if I said this before. Glenn is disabled, but he's not a disabled veteran. He never served in the military. I'm the veteran, um, so I just wanted to clear that up. He is, he is disabled. I was going to say he is just disabled. It's not just disabled. He's disabled, but he is not a veteran, okay? Um... So, yeah, I'm trying to make it as clear as possible, answer as many questions as possible without confusing you anymore, um, because I can probably confuse you pretty good. <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm going to put some information together on, on like, our, our cut downs, what we cut down, what we did, 
um, how we manage. You know, we manage by not going anywhere. That's it. Gas is not expense. Gas is not cheap. Um, it's not as expensive as it got some time ago, but it's still not as cheap. And our truck is a gas guzzler. So, um, so yeah, I may be forgetting to talk about stuff, but that's just the gist of it. So, so yeah, um, I'll head into the house, um, put that information together for you. And I think what I'll do is I'll, I don't know how many of you look at the description below in the videos, but I think I'm going to leave that information in the description all the time because as I get new people, new subscribers, new uh, watchers, um, maybe some of you are looking for those answers. And so I'll leave all that information for you in the description below every single video. So, so yeah, make sure you always check out the description. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's all I can think about right now. As I think of more stuff to talk about, I'll write it down and I'll bring it up. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to... I just wanted to talk to you guys. So, um, if you guys didn't notice, Erica did make a comment. So, thank thank you all for your prayers for Erica. And Erica, I'm, I was so happy to hear from you. Um, it did make me angry that nobody had went to help your kitties. Um, that just makes me angry. But I hope somebody by now has went to feed and give water to your kitties. If we live closer, I would certainly do it in a heartbeat. So... So, continue prayers for you and your kitties. All right? So, I'm going to head in the house and uh, get you that information. So, yeah, take care, my friends.